Hey guys, um, I just want to do a quick yarn haul video. Um, my, one of my teacher, teachers at my school, I guess, is, does knitting. So, she, when she found out that I knitted, she said, because I'm a beginner knitter, she said that she would give me some of her old skeins of yarn. So, today... And some of this stuff is not, keep, I'm not keeping, because I got, a, she gave me a few needles that, to borrow, but. <sighs> okay, so, and, um, I'm doing a bedroom challenge with another teacher, and I will address that in another video, because I'm going to do a video blog while I'm doing that. So I'll explain that in another in another video, which if you're even if you're interested, I'll link in this one. So anyway, her she decided that I was gonna make she thought it'd be a really good idea to do a pillow with knitting. So there was another teacher, my other teacher was in the room with us, and so we decided that she just decided that we were all going to knit a square for said pillow. So, so anyway, this is some of the yarn that she gave me. So, this is the yarn. That's really nice. I don't know what brand it is, who's it, who it's by. I, I have no idea. And then, that is the start of set of the square. She's making one on... This kind of pastel -y, pastel -y yarn, and my other teacher is doing one with like this bright like yellows and yellows and reds and greens and and blues. It looks really cool. Um. So then I show that, and then another bag, separate from this this yarn and a bunch of other yarns. There was this ribbon yarn. And in with that ribbon, so there was that ski ball, and there was this ball. And with the second ball, there was also this. Obviously, it's still on the needle, but I think these are like, there's two. And she gave me these needles, which I love these old needles. I think these are size eights. Like eight millimeter, don't quote me. Um, but so it kind of makes it like wait, like it kind of makes it really gap, and it looks. I think it looks really cool. And when I went and looked in the bag, I'm like, oh, there's another almost finished one, and that's what we thought was it was one that was, you know, she pulled out the needles and just didn't finish. But when I actually Look, took the time and looked in the bag it was a it was a fully finished scarf so I'll just back up a bit so it was a it was a fully finished scarf with the exception of the ends but yeah so that was in there, and again, it was knit with I think with the same needles because it's really, really, really see-through. So there's that was in there. I really like that scarf; it's really nice. And I'd seen this ribbon yarn a lot of different places. Well, I don't know if I've seen a lot of places, but I've seen it on a lot of different videos, and it's like, oh, that might be fun to try. But I was afraid to try it. Now I've got it, I'm going to try it. <laughs> so, I got that. And then she also gave me this. She made, it was a pattern. It's, I think it's pretty old, but I don't know how old it actually is. But it's Make it Easy Lovable Little Critters. It's really crumpled. So, it's that. Lovable Little Critters. So, those are the, um... Those are the critters you can make. A kitten, a bunny, and a puppy. 
so and judging by the color of yarn she was starting out with a kitten so anyway she's like okay well you have you're gonna have to there's some body parts missing so you're gonna have to finish the body parts and then put it together it's like, all right fine not a big deal so in here when i again when i took the bag apart and looked through it there's the head um, i'm kind of picking through this pulling out what i pull out the body and I know I looked at this and I'm like, it does not look like a body. But it is. Um there's some other stuff in here too that I gotta dig it up. There is a tail. Sorry, I'm like losing this bag. And two ears. So and then when I went back and looked at the pattern, we look at the ones way down here, it looks like the legs are part of the body. So when I actually stopped and looked, I realized that she had already made all the old parts were already made. It was just a matter of piecing them together. So anyway, along with that, there was more of this yarn, which is Boutique Softy Hot Tamales. Again, it looks really old. So there's that. Hmm. Um, there is this, like, kind of. I don't know if you can see it. Drop it bag. It's like this. It's like a chocolate brown. It looks. Oh, well, you can kind of. I'm gonna turn it this way. Maybe catch the catch it in the light. I don't know. It, it's kind of like a. A chocolatey brown dark chocolate brown I should say then there is this beige color so there's those and then a couple things she lent me are again because we th thought that I had to do more body parts she lent me a pair of seven millimeter knitting needles. I think. Yeah. And she lent me this book. It is Stitch and Bitch the Knitter's Handbook by Debbie Stroller. So she lent it to me. And I went through, and there's a lot of patterns I really want to try. There's this one the devil hat and the cat hat I'm gonna make the cat hat for if I do it I'll make the cat hat in pink I think in pink for a friend and I'll make the devil hat with obviously red for a friend because we constantly have this battle over she's a devil and I'm the angel or she's the angel and I'm the devil so I'm gonna send her a devil hat it's like ha huh, you're the devil so yeah <laughs> um Something else, another a different friend, she was sitting with me while I was looking through this. We both liked with these backpacks. There's that one. And there's that one. And, I, and she wants one of those. So, the might. And since a birthday present, got an idea for her birthday present. And there were some other ones that were really cute. But, yeah, so. And it go. Oh, and something else too. That we both want. I want to make is those this is a star and then this one says geek they're powerful wrist protection so there's those um and then the other balls of yarn in the, in this bag there was this little one um this is Patton's Shetland Chunky in black. I really like this. I might make something with this. I uh, know, we'll see. <laughs> um, there is this Mission Falls 1824 wool. It's Merino Superwash, 100%. So there's that. And it's really pretty. And I, I've seen that before. I got it 
for a swap partner. I got a couple skeins of fit and like burnt, like a like a kind of a dark red, but not quite burgundy. So th there's more of this patent Shetland chunky, and I'm thinking, looking at it, it's she has used it, and it's in Arden, so it's like a paint, a white. There, so go white. Ah, there's random label, which I actually think is for this one. Um, or maybe not. Or maybe it's... It could be for the worsted weight stuff, maybe. But anyway, this is Patton's Canadiana Knitting Worsted Weight. And it says the color's Crazy Shade, which is why... If I can pull it out... Which is why I think it might be this one. This is the only ball that doesn't look like it's had anything used from it. So that's why I'm thinking that the label belongs with this yarn. I think. I'm gonna look that up online and see and see if that is actually the case. Anyway, continuing on. There is again a little ball of just worsted weight yarn. And then pretty sure this is cotton. I gotta re-roll some of this. Two big, ginormous balls, snowman balls, of cotton. So I'm thinking, looking at all this lovely cotton yarn, this might be just what I need to practice making washcloths. And I really like this. I might just leave it like this because it's kind of squishy. Anyway, so that is my yarn haul. Um, I will be doing another video tonight and kind of giving those who are interested an idea of what the challenge between me and my other teacher is. So that is all for my yarn video. I will talk to you guys later and have a have a great evening or day or weekend or whenever you're watching this. Bye.